Hello, 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 and welcome to Unit of the Reek number 400. So it's been quite a lot of Unit of the Reeks. I don't really plan doing anything special for this run in particular. I'd rather wait for Unit of the Reek number 416, as that marks eight years worth of Unit of the Reek. So instead, I couldn't find an AMX 400, but I have found an AMX 40. And that's what we're going to talk about today. The AMX-30 was the main, main battle tank of the French Armoured Forces throughout the Cold War. There's quite a lot to talk about in regards to the AMX-30, as it is quite a unique design. But we're going to save that for a later video. But basically, in the mid-70s, uh, the French were looking to export the AMX-30. And so they came up with a slightly better model, the AMX-32 prototype. That didn't really go anywhere in the late 70s. So they tried again in the 80s with the AMX-40. Between the AMX-32 slash 40, the main difference was the introduction of a 120mm smoothbore cannon. The AMX-40 also had slightly better armor and a better fire control system, of course, with the new cannon. It was mainly intended for export market to like Saudi Arabia or Spain, but it never really gained any traction. And by 1990, with the Cold War pretty much over and not really any sales to their name, the AMX-40 project basically went nowhere. In game, the AMX-40 is an 80 point tank available to the French. And it has three weapons. So we have a 120mm cannon with 27 rounds of ammunition, a maximum range of 2.2 roughly kilometers, 65% accuracy but only 30 on the move, 19 AP, 3 HC, and 9 rounds a minute. It's a pretty powerful cannon, you know, not that great shooting on the move, we'll get to that a little bit later. We have the Karax or 20mm cannon, which is a pretty standard 20mm style cannon. And then you have a single machine gun. Up down to miscellaneous stats, it has 12 frontal armor, 6 at side, 3 at back, and 2 on the top. Standard 10 HP with medium size, medium optics, a speed of 70 km off road, 110 on the road, has pretty good autonomy, poor stealth, is a prototype, and is restricted to mechanized and armored decks. So in battle, the AMX-40 is quite an interesting tank as it is a very different design philosophy from your American-German style of MBT. The main benefit of the AMX-40 is its big cannon, the 120mm does slap quite a bit at 19 AP, it will do loads of damage, especially for 80 points, you're really getting a good mild bang for your buck. But you don't really see the AMX-40 being used all that much, unless you're playing a purely French deck, because it's the best French tank you can get before the Leclerc, and that's an 85 point difference. As in a Eurocore deck, you're having to compete with the likes of the quite fantastic Laboratory 1, and looking at it side by side comparison rise, it may seem a little bit weird where I don't see AMX-40 at least a bit more often, because for 20 points cheaper, you do have better firepower. But the main thing is your armor value. As running gauge in Red 4 tanks and roughly the same price bracket, the difference between the armor can mean getting killed in 4 shots compared to getting killed in 2 shots. And the AMX-40 does like getting killed quite a bit. Also is the lack of stabilizers, or really a good stabilizer. Yeah, if you play War Thunder high tier, you know exactly what I'm talking about. As the AMX-40 can feel a bit like a bipolar tank, as with its auto cannon and speed, you want to be a bit more aggressive with it. But with the really poor stabilizers, you're just gonna get outgunned and gonna be missing most of your shots if you try shooting on the move, and that's really rare leopard. Tour one comes in. You have to use AMX-40 a bit more defensively. And of course, yes, you do get the quite nice auto cannon. It's not the best auto cannon in the world, but an auto cannon is still an auto cannon. You have, of course, the main cannon and the auto cannon 
cannot fire at the same time, unfortunately, which is why you usually see people just turn off the auto cannon. As if you want to get in close to use your auto cannon, while well, we just talked about the whole stabilizers and aggressive issues from before. It's really just, yeah, to ward off an infantry or to get a little bit too close, or any recon helicopter is just trying to get some big eyes onto you. Overall, the Amex 40 is not necessarily that bad of a tank. It's actually pretty decent, especially for the price point. But in the current war game meta, so to speak, armor definitely reigns supreme. It's better to be a bit more survivable than being a bit more killy. Yo, the Amex 40 is pretty much, you know, another classic example of that. Well, the friends don't copy no one. But no one really copies the French either. And well, I'm gonna leave it off at yeah, that. This has been another Rang Rouge unit of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And usual, please just take it easy.